This summer, with funding from the Office for Global Programs, I was able to travel to Rarotonga, one of the 15 islands that make up the Cook Islands. Rarotonga is home to over 10,000 people and estimates of 5,000 dogs. While living on Rarotonga, I volunteered at Te Ari Manu, the only veterinary clinic in the country. In addition to being on call 24-7, we did community outreach at the local Saturday markets. I worked with vets from around the world, including Scotland and England, Taiwan, India, and New Zealand. Working alongside these vets and the wonderful clinic manager, I was able to practice my skills, including monitoring anesthesia, taking and interpreting radiographs, triaging trauma and doing physical exams, bandaging, splinting and caring for wounds, and suturing. I even began to assist during surgeries. I also learned how to drive a manual car while living on the island. I helped treat many interesting cases, including cats with fish hooks, dogs that had been hit by a car in dog fights, and animals with ciguatera fish poisoning. When animals in Rarotonga eat fish from the reef that are contaminated with ciguatoxins, they commonly present with neurologic symptoms, including seizures, rigidity, and opisthotness. For these animals, we treat with symptomatic and supportive care, manage any secondary issues that arise, and take them down to the lagoon for swimming therapy to help their muscles recover. In addition to dogs and cats, we treated goats, horses, cows, wood pigeons, chickens, and sea turtles. During my time at Te Ari Manu, I was also able to do my own research project. I did a survey of intestinal parasites on the island by analyzing fecal samples from 50 dogs. Within my sample, over 70% of the dogs had hookworm, a zoonotic parasite with potential One Health implications. In addition to my research, I explored the incredible culture and natural beauty of Rarotonga. Along with the veterinarians that were volunteering at the clinic, I went scuba diving and snorkeling, enjoyed swimming and kayaking in the lagoon outside of the volunteer house after work with Sonny, the clinic dog, and some of his friends. I also learned how to kite surf and went on many hikes through the steep volcanic mountains and dense jungles of the island. In addition to exploring the natural beauty that Rarotonga had to offer, the vets and I embraced the local culture by learning how to cook traditional dishes from our friends, and while marching in the Constitution Day Parade with the Ministry of Agriculture, we were given dance lessons by local children from the village. This experience was unforgettable, and I would like to say me ma'ata to everyone who helped make it possible.